Hello everyone, welcome to Victoria's Action Figure Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Square Enix, Play Arts Kai, The Dark Knight Trilogy, The Joker. Awesome looking figure as you can see. Very uh, similar to what we saw in the film. Very menacing looking figure. He looks very sinister. Um, and definitely not a figure you want staring at you as you are going to bed at night. Um, let me show you the aesthetics of this guy. Um, We'll do a little 360 on him. Um, he is nicely detailed. He has the dull paint like the uh, regular release Batman and uh, to lesser degree the Catwoman figure. Um, so it's not very shiny, but for Joker, I guess it kind of works a, a little bit. Um, in the film, he wasn't, um, his suit was, wasn't polished and brand new or anything. It was a little dirty. Um, so overall, nicely done. As far as his uh, details go, let's look at his head. Um, his head looks just plain, plain mean, as you can see. I think they did a good job likening him to Heath Ledger. Um, the profile is definitely there. Um, the overall look is captured quite nicely. Uh, I like the, I love the hair. It's very nicely detailed. Um, in the paint, there's a little bit of green and yellow and uh, olive and tan and all, all sorts of shades of those colors. Um, my biggest problem with the face is that the eyes are kind of, they kind of get sunken in. They don't really stand out. You can't really see his eyes unless you look closely at him. Um, that's something that I think could have been easily fixed with paint um, had they done it a little differently. But um, because of the way that he looks with those deep inset eyes. Uh, he actually looks, a little, I think, a little more evil. And he does look evil, for sure. Yeah. Lots of nice little paint and blending there on the white face makeup going into his, uh, his upper scalp, which, you know, you can see a little bit of flesh tone in it, so... Um, there's his suit. They painted and sculpted his uh, his vest nicely. Uh, his pants, uh, his boots are pretty neat. Um, cape is kind of different. It's almost like almost looks like a skirt, just the way that they made separate um, folds for it. As far as his articulation goes, uh, Joker's nicely articulated, as are most of the figures that uh, Player Arts Kai does. Uh, he's got a ball-jointed head. His neck moves uh, in and out and side to side. Um, shoulders also go in all directions as they're ball-jointed. Ball joints at the um, elbows, which are ratcheted. Um, ball joints at the wrists. Um, he's got an upper torso that's hinged, um, as is his... Uh, his thighs, um, and then double hinges here at the knees, and uh, double hinge there, at, or single hinge there at the uh, ankle. Um, one little detail I wanted to point out here is his chain is not made of metal. I think it would have, it would have kind of looked a little nicer if it was, but it's not. But uh, either way, either way, he's a good looking. It's good looking, a good way to describe this jo version of Joker. Probably not. I mean, he looks, he's, he's well done, we'll see. Definitely a well done figure. You know, when I look at this, whoops. Um, let me point that out right now. Joker's heads do seem to come off very easily for whatever reason. Um, because that happened, I'll go ahead and show you his accessories, uh, that he comes packaged with. Um, Joker comes with two heads, as you can see there. Um, one's pretty similar to the one that's already on him, but maybe a little more battered looking. He also has a mask that you see him wearing at the beginning of The Dark Knight. He comes with a couple playing cards, uh, as you can see down here, and then he has two alternate hands. Um, Joker also has his knife. 
right there, as you can see, my headless joker with his knife. It's a very nice looking little knife, and it looks like what he had in the film. Um, his, uh, his box is also pretty standard to what we've seen with the other figures in this series. It's got a nice uh, photo there of the uh, character as he uh, appears in toy form. You also get a nice little bio there of Joker, as well as uh, his base, which you can you might be able to see through the window, and then that little um, print right there on the window as well. It says, "This is my town now." As uh, you might recall him saying in the film. Was that the Italian he mentioned that to in the film? It might have been. Um, let's look at Joker's alternate heads that he comes with. Excuse the noise. Okay, so the first of the two alternate heads is going to just be, a, it looks very similar to the one he comes on. Uh, out of the box, but again, a little more battered looking, I suppose. Uh, I would have liked maybe a face with like a, a grin on it or, you know, something different, but oh well. And then the other one is merely his uh, bank robber mask head. This one's cool. I like this one, but the other head doesn't really seem too necessary. Um... Now, unfortunately, the alternate head that came with my Joker is uh, the alternate regular looking head, I should say. Doesn't quite fit on him very well. I think the hole underneath there is a little bit too small, so when I try to put it on, you can see that there's still a lot of neck left over. It's got a long neck now. But that's the farthest I can get it to go down. I think it's just a matter of a hole on, uh, on his head underneath it being too small. I was thinking of maybe taking like a reamer and uh, making the hole a little bit bigger, but you know, I guess I could risk damaging the head. Not that it matters because it doesn't work anyway very well, but there you have it. Um, the masked head actually sits on there pretty nicely though. I guess it's on. <laughs> None of the heads actually, like the Catwoman figure, seem to actually snap in place. They're just more of a, uh, they're more kind of just, they sit in place like around the ball joint to varying degrees of success, but um, for all intents and purposes, they, they seem to work okay. So there's the Joker. Um, we'll put him next to Batman. Oops. Sorry about that, folks. Having an iPad malfunction. Um, they're in pretty good scale with each other uh, compared to, as you saw earlier, uh, Catwoman, who couldn't get her to stand still. Who, by comparison, is a little too small. Um, but uh, Joker, I think, is in pretty good scale, if not maybe just a, a tad too tall. Um, for, uh, for Batman. So all in all, none of the three I don't think are in scale with uh, each other, but they're close enough, so I guess we'll give them a pass. Uh, as separate pieces, though, I think each of these figures looks pretty nice. Um, but yeah, uh, I think overall my favorite in this of these three is definitely Catwoman. I think she's perfect. Sorry. Um, Batman would be my second favorite. Love the paint job of the metallic Batman compared to the other one I had, the regular version. Uh, and then uh, Joker is, um, is nice as well. Still not sure if I should get Bane. I mean, Bane's the only one I need to finish this set, but uh, he just looks awful, I think. Um, 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I get Bane? If you think I should get Bane, let me know in the comments. I'll consider it. Um, he's not really a priority, but I don't know. You know, I'm sort of a completist when it comes to small series of figures. There's only four figures in the series, so I kind of feel like, <clears throat> well, maybe I should get him, but I don't know. Anyway, there are the Dark Knight Trilogy figures for you. We're focusing this review on the Joker. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.